This demo will show you how to make callout boxes or manipulate the callout boxes in Adobe Reader XI. To get there, we have Adobe Reader open itself, not in a browser, clicking the Comments panel. And here under Drawing Markups, I'm going to click Add Text Callout. Now to place this, uh, you can be precise now by clicking where you want it to point to and dragging where you want the text box. But the point of this tutorial is to show you how to move that later. So now I have a text box with a leader line. I can type my text to be inserted or my instructions to production, whatever use you have for this. Now the question was how to reposition this or resize it. You'll notice the little boxes at the corners. Adobe calls those handles. And as you hover over them, a little icon changes to show you what's possible from that point. So you can resize your box from those handles on the box. You can re reposition your leader line from the handle that's in the middle of that. And you can move the arrowhead. You'll notice as I move the text box around, the arrowhead stays anchored. If I want to move the arrowhead, I need to click that handle and drag it where I want. As I hover the mouse over the middle of the leader line, you'll notice I get that four directions arrow. That means I can move the entire object. So if I click and drag now, I'm moving the entire thing together. Click the text box, move just it. Click the arrowhead, move just where the pointer is. Click the middle of the leader line, move everything together. This handle in the middle can be used for redirecting your arrow if you want to be precise or not obscure things. It can also be used to uh, change the side of the box that the arrow is on. Sometimes it works, sometimes this works better, simply moving your box to the other side and then repositioning. I do find these quite finicky and they jump around when I try to enter new text. So if you're particular about this, you will likely go mad. I suggest making as many changes as possible before you put it in the precise position. Here, let's just see another resize. You can also change the properties of this. You may note from my previous demos, my preferred uh, blue background to make it stand out. If you right click on this, you get properties. You can also get to properties from Command E. And from the properties window, I can change the border style, the color. Uh, this gets a little more complicated. I find this easier. The thickness of my line, the fill color, and even the opacity. This is also where you would change your author name and look at histories and so forth. So explore with that properties bar. You can also now make this the default for all future callout boxes so you don't have to change this every time. I'm not going to do that in this instance. I'll click OK. And there's my illegible box. Fantastic.